let us try to see how the clock getting technique helps over here so this uh, while trying to implement the clock getting technique for this this huge millions of lobs you will actually understand how much amount of power are we actually saving so let's see that so this section of the this section of the clock buffer so this buffer this section of the clock clock tree was identified that it will work on only under certain conditions it will operate only under certain conditions so what we did was we replaced the clock buffer by a clock gating by a NAND gate technique where enable one pin the logic at the enable one pin will decide whether the clock will propagate from this point to this area or not and and similarly to maintain the consistency of the gate at every level this clock buffer was replaced by two NAND gates basically nothing but back to back buffer connected now if you see how much amount of power are we saving it's all these flops this complete section of the chip that the power is being saved for that amount of period during which this the clock is not getting propagated or during the period where your enable pin is at logic zero